how to open this cap. Now this is a cap for a water filter made of plastic polymer. Does not require any special tool. This video will show you how to remove this water filter membrane inside. First remove the sheets, power sheets, and then the cover, lift it up, up like this. There are actually one inlet. This is where the main water goes into the chamber and I need to close it to reduce the uh, water pressure inside the chamber. Then I'm going to loosen this elbow and uh, press on the release, pressure release, also the lock. Use a monkey wrench to loosen the nut and then uh, remove it using the hand. It's made of plastic so you need to be gentle with plastic. And then uh, there's an o-ring in there. I'm going to twist this elbow to one side, maybe to the left, and then the o-ring came off. Keep this o-ring with you, don't lose it. And then I'm going to open this Wow, This is where I'm going to get water. Yeah, I'm draining the water inside while removing this cap. I'm going to also open this valve here, press on this knob. This knob is nothing in there, it's just a hexagon knob inside. I'm going to press it down and then turn, twist, counterclockwise. Okay, it'll take some effort. Yeah, press down and twist. I'm doing this voice over because it's very noisy in the, in the surrounding. So this is how it looks like. It took me a while to really turn counterclockwise, 90 degree. And then we'll show you how dirty it is. I'll use a cloth to show you how dirty it is. Now I did not cheat, okay? This is not mud that I put in intentionally. No, these are not. It's actually from the water. Now this is the reason why people in Malaysia do not drink water out from their tap. They need to filter their water. Some of them even cook their water before they actually drink it. Now this is a filter. You can see that this filter roll in two and a half cycle. The same way that I'm going to roll it clockwise later once I perform installation. That's why I need to make a video to remind myself how this filter is being rolled. The water is still draining down there. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the diameter of this fabric so that I can uh, remove it from this chamber. And then down here, water is still being drained. I can actually wash my hand there. Okay, it's very dirty, it's muddy. Um, probably I'll show you. You can open, this is where the main water go goes in. And then I need to connect the cap so the water goes into this chamber and it goes out from the outlet valve so that I can uh, power my water jet to clean this fabric, right? So I have a two meter long plastic sheet rested on the floor before I rest my fiber, I mean rest my uh, filter there. And then this one here is the lower filter down there. It's the base filter used to remove the uh, water odor. Yeah, okay, you can hear it. I mean, it's very dirty. Then later I need to clean the interior wall as well. So turn counterclockwise, remove it. Okay, place it here. And then uh, I'm good to, it is water still draining. Okay, lots of water in there. Uh, inlet water is still closed. Now it's fully okay, drained. Then I'm going to close this uh, cover, place it here, and then uh, rotate clockwise, connect the elbow connector so that water goes into the chamber. And then close these two valve and then turn on the main so the water starts filling in the chamber. And uh, this is where the outlet is. Uh, I'll connect the hose through this outlet to power my water pump. Okay, water jet pump to clean the filter fabric. So meanwhile, I can actually clean the, the cloth. Yeah, I'm going to use it to clean the interior wall later. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to test if I've drained all the air in the chamber and start cleaning. Okay. These are all mud. I need to clean both sides, of course. Right? Now, this is what happens if you don't clean your filter for more than a year. You actually crack the cap and then water starts lead to leak. You must clean this filter. I advise to clean this filter once every six months, at least six months. Okay, so actually two ended, uh, both ended. This is the lower, the bottom part, and this is the this side face up. Okay, this face is upwards. So I've cleaned both sides of this uh, fabric, and I'm going to roll it back into position, into the right orientation. Twist it back, roll it back into a smaller diameter so that it fits into the chamber. Don't press it too hard, but you break the internal fabric. So this side is the lower end, 
if you are buying a new filter, make sure you don't get the old filter. The old filter different design. This is the top hand. Then I'm going to remove the hose. Okay, while the water is still filling. I'm going to close it. And then I remove the elbow up there. Don't lose the O-ring. Twist it counterclockwise. Keep this O-ring with you. And then uh, try to press down and twist counterclockwise. And also, yes, there's a lock button and also unlock it press it down unlock it mm. and then yes here you go mm. counterclockwise it takes some effort right it's gonna take some effort then uh I'm gonna clean the interior wall clean the interior wall until all the water has been fully drained clean the base as well get another cloth to clean it and then install the base filter okay align it properly and turn clockwise yes here you go this is how to fix the base and then uh, this side face downwards and then this is end face upwards right both ends this is a new filter it's different from the old one you can watch my previous video up here how the uh, previous filter looks like that requires special tool so this new model is so good that it does not require special tool so anyone at home sit at home you have nothing to do you can clean your filter once every six months Align them into the same spot is difficult. It takes some time, okay? You just need to feel it, feel the force. Let it sit onto the hole, right? Okay? Then you try to open up this. You do can, you, then you need to open up this fabric. Roughly two and a half cycle, clockwise. Close the cap, okay? Then turn on the inlet, release the water at both positions backwash and uh, filtering position. We need to open the wash slowly, gently to remove all the gas. A process called degassing. So just now you're seeing from uh, filtering now to backwash. So in backwash position, I'm also performing a degassing. Used to remove all the air that has been trapped inside this chamber, whether it's over the filtering position or older, over now the uh, filtering position to the backwash position. Now it's in the filtering position, okay? So all the gas is fully removed. How do I know it? When I attach a hose or look at the flow of the water, if the water coming out smoothly, then all the gas is successfully removed. This is a step how to, how to clean the diamond water filter, the new model. You find that the filter is different than from the previous version. So if you're buying a new filter, make sure you get the correct version. And if this is the first time watching my video, kindly subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your thumbs up. And uh, do press on the bell button two times so that you get notified of my new upcoming video. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye.